Is this segment going to be legal, Paul? Yeah, <laughs> yes. I, we ran it past our lawyers, so we're okay. pretty sure. Okay, that's yeah. good because it's about legal <laughs> advice. And it's all free, which is a great thing, too. So let's get all lawyered up. You want all right. to? <laughs> you can never have enough information about the law, especially when it applies to you. So check this segment out. Hopefully you'll learn something. We're here today with Ann Poindexter, an attorney, talking about premarital agreements, postmarital agreements, and cohabitation agreements. And we've got a lot to talk about. Let's get into it. Thank you. So Indiana has a substantial history now in premarital agreements. We have an actual statute on premarital agreements, and we have a long line of cases that support premarital agreements. And so that's good news for people in Indiana that want to plan and make their own choices before they get married. You can cover a whole variety of topics, mm -hmm. or you can make them very limited. For example, some people are going to receive or have received significant inheritances. Mm -hmm. And so some people feel an obligation to protect those inheritances if they get married. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes we do a premarital agreement that simply deals with that inheritance. Okay. And it says in the event the marriage doesn't work out, there's a divorce, mm -hmm. or in the event of death, here's what happens to that inheritance. Okay. Some people get married later in life. True and they already have accumulated some of their own property or wealth. And so they just have in mind what they think they should happen to their own accumulated wealth mm -hmm. and property getting married later in life. And so we can put in the agreement both what happens in the event of a divorce or what happens in the event of death. Okay. And again, hopefully marriages don't end in divorce. We hope. All marriages end in death. People okay. die. Yes. And so creating your own plan, even if it only deals with death, mm -hmm. is a good idea. Very important. It is a very good idea. So. Postmarital agreements, we haven't heard a lot about that. Let's, uh, let's <laughs> give our viewers something. To and I'm, I'm glad to be able to talk about that okay. because there are some misconceptions out there. If you're having problems in a marriage and mm -hmm. if you really are considering terminating a marriage mm -hmm. or doing something else, and if one of the issues is finances, mm -hmm then you might have an opportunity to reach an agreement to resolve that problem okay. and that might hold up mm -hmm. but don't rush thinking we'll go ahead and get married and do the postnuptial agreement oh so it should happen earlier premarital agreements yeah, okay. premarital agreements right. premarital agreements <laughs> all right <laughs> all right so now our third Cohabitation. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> so, you know, more and more, mm -hmm. um, I see groups of people who are not getting married or they're not getting married right of way. Mm -hmm. I see younger people, I see middle-aged people, and I see older people that are living together and they're not married. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of them believe that that's the easier answer. I think a lot of them believe that that avoids some of those legal complications mm -hmm. that the lawyers talk about is if they just live together. Mm -hmm. And in part, they're right, but it doesn't avoid every legal complication. Oh. You know, if they're not the older folks, 
then some of the middle and younger folks are going and buying the real estate together okay. and they're just owning it jointly. Yes. Well, we have a difficulty then if that relationship doesn't work out mm -hmm. and they're going to part ways. Again, they're not married. We don't have the divorce structure mm -hmm. to deal with that parting of ways. Right. A cohabitation agreement that gave structure to what happens if we part ways, what happens if one of us leaves and the other one can't afford the entire mortgage or all of the expenses mm -hmm. until the house sells, mm -hmm. dealing with those sorts of details is a plan, would yeah. be helpful. Yeah. So that one person just can't fly the coop, mm -hmm. so to speak. Well, thank you, Anne. You gave us a lot to work with. Obviously, planning, uh, proper planning is very beneficial uh, for anyone getting involved in relationships. And I think that the points that you made are very good. Kevin Kimbrough, Lifestyle Indy.